Hi, it's Kerry. Today I've got some more interesting dinosaurs with movable arms, legs, head and tail. Great for posing or stop motion like this. They're quite colourful as well. The set includes Iguanodon, Corythosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Deinonychus, Sucumimus and accessories. And here's the box. A bit of information on the back there. I've noticed they've spelt the word dinosaur wrong though. That should be D-I-N-O. Iguanodon is a genus of ornithopod plant-eating dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period. It had a hard conical spike on each thumb that could grow to 6 inches or 15 centimetres long. It had four fingers. It had a horny toothless beak and cheek teeth and a rather bulky body with a thin skull and long tail. Its tail was flat and stiff. Its legs were much larger than its arms. Its three-toed hind feet had hoof-like claws. It grew to about 30 feet or 9 metres. It could run on two legs or walk on all four. There's a fun fight at the end today where Sucumimus fights Giganotosaurus. Can you tell me, did Sucumimus mainly eat meat or fish? This is a tree that came with the set. I rather like this. I'll show you what it can do. Give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. I'm going to put a big black ant in there. That'll surprise someone else later. Please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing and sharing my videos with your friends. Thank you. This set is called Dinosaur World Playset by Ted Co. I'll write it down in the description as well. Corythosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a large plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur from the Hadrosauridae family. It was about 30 feet long and six and a half feet tall at the hips, weighing up to five tons. It had a hollow bony crest on top of its long head in the shape of a helmet flattened on the sides. The crest resembled the crest of the cassowary and a Corinthian helmet. Corythosaurus nostrils went up through the crest. The crest was most likely used to make sounds or possibly as a calling device, maybe courtship displays, or for an increased sense of smell. Males had larger crests than females and juveniles. Now I think this is meant to be a mini volcano. I'm going to hide some things in it for later. So I've got a centipede and a scorpion there. I love all of the legs. <laughs> that will be fun to find later. Pachycephalosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a herbivorous, dome-headed dinosaur with a skull up to 10 inches thick, a tiny brain and large eyes. It had bumpy knobs on its snout and along the back of its skull. The forelimbs were short and it had a stiff tail. The thick skull bone is quite porous and fragile and was most likely used for headbutting other animals in their side not to their heads to avoid injuring themselves. Pachycephalosaurus walked on two legs and was not a very fast dinosaur. It ate soft plants, fruit and seeds. Its teeth were small and sharp. Now this is 
quite interesting. It looks like the entrance to a cave. I've got just the dinosaur to put in there. It looks like it comes apart, but I don't think I'd bother to take it apart. That's going to make a great home for Utah Raptor. Giganotosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs, growing up to nearly 45 feet long and weighing about 8 tons, and stood 12 feet tall at the hips. It walked on two legs and had enormous jaws in a 6 foot long skull with 8 inch long serrated teeth. The dagger-like teeth with the serrated edges could slice through flesh like a saw. It had three fingered hands with sharp claws, long legs and clawed feet. Its jaws were large enough to swallow an adult human whole. The skull is long and slender, with corrugated areas on the edges of the snout top and above the eye. Deinonychus The name Deinonychus means terrible claw, referring to the large sickle shaped hooked claw on the second toe of the hind feet. Deinonychus lived in the early Cretaceous period. It is part of the same family as Velociraptor. Deinonychus reached about 3.4 meters in length, which is 11 feet, and weighed around 73 kilos or 170 pounds in weight. In Jurassic Park and the Lost World, they used Deinonychus, but called them by the more popular and dramatic name Velociraptor. Deinonychus had around 60 teeth and studies suggest that it had about the same bite force as an alligator. Studies of Deinonychus hope lead to the widely accepted theory that birds descended from dinosaurs. Suchomimus was a carnivore that lived during the Cretaceous period. It grew to about 40 feet or 12 meters long and weighed around 6 tons. It had tall extensions to its vertebrae that you can see there, which may have held up a fin or sail, much like Spinosaurus but on a much smaller scale. This carnivore had short clawed arms with three fingers. Its skull is very much like the skull of a crocodile. The main diet of this dinosaur was fish. It had a long conical snout that contained over 120 teeth to help catch slippery fish. It also had huge claws for holding fish while eating. It may have also eaten carrion or anything else it found in its tracks. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Ah, remember to stay for the fun ending. We've got a fight today between Suchomimus and Giganotosaurus, which should be fun. Let's get the action started.
Just click or press the colourful super fun reviews button to watch any of the videos or playlists. Just click or press the one that you like. Thanks again.